every idea turns into a story. The idea is the starting point. And one of the ways a story can be told, and is often told for children, is through pictures as well as words. Without of the blue, the entire story is pictures. There aren't any words. This book came into being at the suggestion of Alison Jay, the illustrator, who was very interested in creating a seaside adventure that told many, many stories through the artwork. I think she's done it charmingly. Let's have a look inside. This is her title page with a seaside bucket that itself is a work of art, indicating how things are going to pan out later on and showing some of the treasures that all of us can find when we're in that space between the land and the sea. One of the things Alison does utterly charmingly in this story is to divide the space she has on the page so that it's like a very artful comic strip with a narrative divided into sections. When you share this story with your child, you'll find that there are numerous subplots that can be followed depending on which character in the story you choose to follow. The main character is a small boy who lives in a lighthouse with his dad and his dog and his cat. The arc of the story describes how he spends the day on the beach until trouble comes along. Trouble comes in the form of a terrible storm which drives everyone inside. Here's the storm raging through the night. After the storm, something ugly is washed up on the beach and it needs to be rescued. Here's the ugly creature that's washed up. It's a giant squid. Everyone comes out to have a look at it and they're frightened. So they all run away. They realise that it's alive because it opens its eyes and starts to cry. The small boy and his friend, who's a little girl, are completely undaunted by the size and the ugliness of this mysterious creature and they resolve to help it. The squid has become entangled in fishing nets and they set about releasing it. And in the best story tradition, lots of small creatures and animals from the beach come and help them. And of course, all ends well. They liberate the squid. Here he is, being towed out to sea. And here he is, in the calm after the storm, waving his thanks from the deep blue ocean to the small boy. If you share this story with your child, you will be able to find stories within stories within stories. All of them with a message about how we can help vulnerable, abandoned creatures and in our own small ways make the world a better place.